show our new 540 crate motor that we're having made for us. It uses all the rail arm components. It also uses all the stock 496 parts. So it's completely interchangeable from the oil system all the way up to the mounting bolts, the hardware, flywheel, crankshaft, timing sensors. All the things that have always been a problem with aftermarket blocks. It has a steel crank, steel cap screw rods, and it has forged pistons in it. The pistons have an eyebrow in it big enough that you can put a 650 plus camshaft in it so we can make a lot of horsepower with this engine. The heads that we sell fit on these. The camshafts we offer fit in these. They come with new roller lifters, they come with retainers and rockers, and pretty much complete short block on the bottom. Another feature this block offers is oil squirters for the bottom of the pistons. It has factory installed, drilled oil squirters that put oil on the bottom of the pistons to keep them cool under high horsepower or high boost applications. Another option we have with this short block is we take the four and a half inch stroke out and we put a four and three quarter stroke in this and then we put a four point four zero zero four in it and we make ourselves a 572. One of the biggest issues we've had in the marine world is trying to put oil coolers back on that came off the 496. So the block that we have here mounts all of the 496, 8.1, 375, and the 420 horse oil coolers, lines, fittings, and the brass cap that goes on top of the oil filter boss so that all the stock lines plug in exactly the same and you don't have to make a single part. It just bolts on. You unscrew a bolt, you screw it right back in the same bolt hole on the new block. The same thing goes for the truck oil coolers. The fittings for those are exactly the same, so in a truck environment, you unplug the oil cooler line from the truck motor, you screw the fitting back into this block, and you plug the oil cooler aluminum tubing right back into this block. So it makes it simply a plug and play. You take one out, you plug another one back in. The crankshaft sensor in the back is still a 24 count reluctor, so that works with the computers that are presently used on the front of this. The camshaft sensor on the front is the 2004 and later cover, gear, and sensor. We're setting this up to be available in the 58 count reluctor and the times four camshaft sensor up front for the hot rod guys. You can now run this engine with an E38, which is a 2006 and later Corvette computer. So you can take an LS out of a truck or you can take an LS out of a car and you can bolt this 540 or 572 right back into the same location and the same computer will run this engine. So this is our new 540 crate motor. It's got all the parts that it takes to make a really good, useful replacement for an 8.1.